So, welcome back to another episode. Um, birds today are going to get their first bath out here. It is quite a nice warm afternoon. And I thought, you know what? What better conditions for a Sunday afternoon is to get these birds out and have a bit of a bath in here. They're getting excited because they think it's feeding time as well. But um, we'll give them a bath first. And I'm, I'm going to try and give this a good scrape out as well. I'm going to try and keep on the top of this one anyway and lots oh, of birds are flapping around everywhere and also I've brought a few little latches things like that for here so I've got a quite a few little odd jobs to do while we're watching the birds have a little bath so let's get the bath set up for them they all seem to be settling in quite well even the little guys are up on the perch there he looks a little bit scared okay Let's utilise this little sliding door we got here. So while I'm filling the water up, we'll just lock that. Ah, right, eh? And got them some bath salts as well. Give them a little bit of a treat. You guys want a bath? You want to have a look? I've got a nice cool bath here for you. Come on. Come up. Come up. Don't be shy. Come up. Come up. Come up. Bath time. Come up. Come up. Up. It's a nice bath, come on. I even tried to bring him here with even a lure him over with this, but it's not really working. Some of them are just still scared to come out here. Come up. Come on. Don't get so flighty. What I might do is just trick them. I might just actually sit this over in the corner here and see if that brings them out here. Come up. Come up. They're all so scared still. They're not used to this new loft yet. They're all like, hey, why is there no food in here? Are you playing tricks on me? Why don't you just have a bar first? Come on. Look, it's a perfect day for it. It's actually quite warm today. There we go. You're the champion, aren't you? First one in. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I need a bigger bath now. I have to make a special one that's going to fit in there and it's going to fit all you guys. There is so many pigeons in there. Oh my gosh, we've bred some pigeons. Gonna walk away slowly, don't be scared. Seems to be working quite well this great system and really nice to have like another one of these widths. So even if it's 1.2 meters that way it'd be fantastic. I think on my next loft I'm gonna build a much bigger version of this because it's actually really like it. The birds seem to be, you know, doing quite well with this. Well, I might let them have a little bit of a bath and then I need to get in here and give this a bit of a clean while they're doing that, so. Let's do that. So I brought out my normal scraping stuff, should work quite well in here. I brought some grit, pink mineral powder, their little tray. Um, and also going to try and set up that camera in there today. I do have it hidden at the moment pointing towards that But um, that's going tomorrow. So I'm going to put it inside here What else we got in here? Oh, they've got the little hinges and stuff as well for the insides of the door Got a little box of tricks. So I got that one and there's a little hook as well that we had on the Sputnik door. So I'm Gonna put all those in while we're here Let's get to it So, got on that little hinge there, well like the hook, basically just to stop that door sliding open. Um, seems to be working pretty well, but look at all the birds. Very flighty before, gave them a little bath and just, it really settles them down. It's a very social thing for them, um, especially here they sit in under here, it's like a little bit of an air dryer for them, but they're really enjoying that down in there, look at them. So far this loft is, you know, it's doing pretty good. So we've got that in, got this little one here. Took this off my other loft at home. I'm gonna start pulling that loft down soon. And then, yeah, this one so we can just lock the birds out there if we need to do any work in here. Well, it's going along pretty well. I'm, I don't mind tinkering around with the loft and putting little bits and pieces on it. It's quite relaxing, especially when the birds are all out here doing their thing. I brought them some grit and pink mineral powder and I've also got to give them a feed so I might um, tip that water out and then give them a little feed now. I might try and feed some by hand just because uh, I want to really, you know, try and get them more used to me. Now we're in this bigger space, they have the opportunity and choice to be further away if they want. But the other loft they didn't, they didn't have any choice, I was always close to them so see if I can give them a little bit of a feed. Come on. Come on. Gave the um, floor a good clean too. It's actually quite easy to clean with all this space in here. So far, so good. Come on. Mom. 
Come on. Over the next few days, I'm going to try and build um, a bigger feeder for these guys. There's no point um, buying another one of these ones that are like $40 or whatever. I might just build a, one out of wood, and I've got the same color paint that I painted the landing board with, so I might paint that as well, nice and green. We'll give them a fair bit of food today, just because um, I'll put a few more little babies in here. Come on, out. Come on. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Are you going to help me, you guys? Heads out, heads out, heads out. There we go. Um, just because I hopefully there's a little bit of food left over, just so some of these little babies, like this one over the back here, gets his chance to get a little bit of a snack. Um, but I probably will go down the hardware store in the morning first thing and buy the timber. Oh yeah, he's going in there, that's good. And the other one's up there, but you, you'll be alright. Um, yeah, I'll get the timber tomorrow and I can probably start building it over the next day or two and then get it out here. But uh, he's alright, it's his first day in here. First day in here, same as these two. What I might do is put this out here. That's a grit and pink mineral powder. Hopefully they um, get into it. I might have a go of it after, but at least if it's out here, if they make any mess, they can just flick it out and it goes on the through the ground, the grate there onto the floor, which is good. Less mess. All right, time to lock you guys up for the night. I'll be back out here in the morning. So I've just measured this up and also the viewing box are at the front. Checked all the birds. I've actually got the camera up the top there. So this is a 4G camera. So basically um, I can sit at home and have a look in here. That's the only camera I'm going to show you. Um, there may or may not be a couple more of these hidden around the property. But those ones are, for my knowledge anyway, and whoop, I just put a screw in up there and just hung the scraper in here for now, until we finally get some things sorted. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, I'm going to catch you guys later.